During World War I, submarines were first used on a large scale in actual combat, and soon demonstrated their value. This was followed by a strong development of anti-submarine technology and tactics. In order to effectively combat submarines hidden underwater, various countries came up with all sorts of tricks. After the successful miniaturization of nuclear weapons, they were also used for anti-submarine warfare. Today, we will introduce the Soviet RPK-2 Blizzard anti-submarine missile. The RPK-2, with the NATO reporting name SS-N-15 Starfish, is a weapon developed in the 1960s. It was developed in accordance with the Soviet decree proposed in 1960 to establish a new type of anti-submarine missile system. The design department proposed two versions, RPK-1 for surface ships and RPK-2 for submarines. The RPK-2 has a 533mm caliber that fits into torpedo tubes. Like a torpedo, it is launched using compressed air, with a launch depth of 40 to 60 meters underwater. The missile is equipped with a solid fuel rocket engine at the rear, which serves as the power source for the missile's flight in the air. The missile ignites only after leaving the water's surface. The missile itself uses inertial guidance, with a striking distance of 10 to 40 kilometers. The disadvantage of inertial guidance is its lack of accuracy, especially when the target is often in motion. The data detected a few seconds ago may not be accurate, and the missile that has already been launched cannot respond accordingly. It can only follow a predetermined route. The solution to this problem is to equip the missile with a nuclear warhead. The RPK-2's thermonuclear warhead has a yield of over 5 kT. After detonation, it can destroy submarine targets within a radius of 600 to 1400 meters and a depth of 1500 meters. The missile's maximum flight speed is 0.9 Mach. With the advantage of the missile's speed and the power of the warhead, it can be concluded that once a target is attacked by it, there is little chance of escape. The Soviet Union probably began testing the RPK-2 missile around 1964, and it entered service in 1969. It is a tactical nuclear weapon that can achieve effects far beyond just anti-submarine warfare. Its nuclear warhead can also be used to target aircraft carrier battle groups and other targets. To date, the RPK-2 anti-submarine missile has been deployed on various Soviet-slash-Russian submarines, such as the famous Typhoon-class large nuclear submarines. Other submarines, such as the Alpha-class attack nuclear submarines and the Akula-class attack nuclear submarines, can also use it. It remains one of the important equipment for Russian submarines today.